Did you play with uh, Brandon Bull Barrett as well? Brandon, yeah, Brandon was a little bit younger than me. Um, okay. He would have been, I think, a year younger than me. So uh, okay. I think a year or two. Uh, but yeah, I did play with Brandon. So I, I played in a, stories. in a, yeah, I, I played in a, um, a man, I felt era. like it was, it was a great era. Um, so it wasn't the, the, like the 80s, you had Purple Rain. It was, yes. um, you know, so that Purple was my Rain. Era. That, that was, was your era, era. Yeah. Um, and so it wasn't like that. But foot, Marion has always been a kind of a basketball school, and football has kind much. of been like the stepchild to that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I thought, though, Michael, not to cut you off, but no. uh, Indiana itself, what I learned just by being stepping back and seeing, Indiana has always been a basketball state. But I think when Peyton Manning came in that 98 era, it changed people to football for years and then class basketball kind of turned people off. So they had Peyton Manning and all the Colts for all those years. And I think once Peyton Manning left and went to Denver and I think Indiana has gradually kind of split the two because we love our football still, but we still have that love for basketball. But it seems like a Peyton Manning really brought the love of football to Indiana in addition to basketball. Yeah, you know, I loved watching that, watching him play. And I was, we yeah. were, we were in the middle of that class basketball thing. Yeah, I remember yeah. we started out like we were, everything was one, and then like Marion Pike, yeah. Marion Pike kicked it off when Zach and those guys lost at the last. 90, second. That was my senior uh, year. I can't wait. I, I talked to Andre Betts. I uh, got him scheduled here soon. Uh, I talked to Little John. He's a little bit older than that. He just come up with me, but. I got a lot of guys online that I'm going to get, but that 98 year, man, I remember we had a, like front row seats down at the RCA dome uh, that's no longer there. And uh man had to leave. What a heartbreaking and, loss. And I'm telling man, you, I remember they had Zach. Zach was a sophomore. Could yeah. not stop. It was most smelly was the coach Andre yeah. Betts. Um, the late Jojo. Drake jo- was Jojo Williams. It had all those guys on. They had uh, a man. I could just keep going, and yeah. Zach was unstoppable. Well, we had the last the minute. Last. We took were Zach out to the three point line. That layup, layup foul. Uh, Best didn't miss a layup at the end, but uh, uh, yeah, it was it was devastating. And then it that was. next year, he got suspended. He didn't play that junior year. But then they came back senior year against Jared Jeffries. And Should have won three. Three that freshman year they lost uh, at the Bill Green Athletic Arena to Fort Wayne, uh, Fort Wayne Wayne I believe, or Fort Wayne Southside. But uh, yeah, that was that was all four years they sh- they had a chance. Maybe not that freshman year, but Zach those last sophomore, junior, and senior years. Sophomore, junior, and senior. He should have won like Mr. Basketball. I remember it was Jared Jeffries ended up winning Mr. Basketball, and um, yeah, I remember that. That was that team I had, Reggie Nevels. And, uh, Reggie Nevels. Son was a, a freshman, sophomore in those teams. And, uh, so you want to talk was... about somebody who is just mad gifted, Reggie Nevels. He was um, – so Reggie yeah. Neville came in as a freshman my senior mm-hmm. year. So we mm-hmm. went from Stephen Simmons, I believe my, yeah. my I, I junior year. I talked to Stephen as well. I'm going to get Stephen on. I got Todd Richardson lined up as well. That's sweet, man. So I had him, and we went to Reggie, and he was – uh, untested and unproven, and it's un. Yes. It's at that time, Marion football did not. It was rare to be a so. I remember I started as a sophomore, and it was. Mm-hmm. I think it was just me, Tommy Pierce, maybe Freddie Barlow. All mm-hmm. started as sophomores, maybe Tony Sharon. And, and you know what I was thinking, looking at all those stats, I think the Stephen and Reggie back to back was the first two black quarterbacks, and man, and in, in the last. 15, 20 years. That's that was unheard mistaken. of. 20 years yeah, ago I, to have a – I remember Stefan as a quarterback was Stephen really was like rare. like the first black quarterback I remember at man. But uh, I, I know reading the archives, I think it was maybe Mike Smith and it was maybe, you know, maybe back in, back in the, uh, the days. It might have been one or two in the, in the uh, Larry Little era. He coached before. Uh, it was Larry Little and then we had uh, Coach Moses, which was real cool with me. And then uh, I think Coach Pullman, Coach 
I'm a history buff, so I really love that you geek out on. I don't geek out I on do. history necessarily no, I love in terms of sports, but you geek yes. out on sports history, and I love that you do that because you keep it alive. This is the thing. I played football. Nobody ever remember. They remember Tony Sharon. They remember that. Yeah. But like for you to bring this back, man, it, 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 there's a lot of times I spend spend my times thinking about that mm-hmm. time, those days. Yes, those days. I, I think it's awesome that you uh, present that platform to where we can have that conversation. And 